Miles Guo's opinion, Biden and Bloomberg are CCP's double gun against Trump. In today's live stream broadcast, Miles Guo told the world that the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, claimed to be using Joe Biden and Michael Bloomberg as its double guns to defeat President Trump in the 2020 election. Mr. Guo's forewarning about the CCP's double gun strategy in the Taiwan presidential election, which came months before Terry Guo announced his intention to run in the Kuomintang primary, stunned many. CCP picked both Terry Guo and Han Kuo Yu to ensure a successful takeover of Taiwan. Today's broadcast was perhaps the first time for Mr. Guo to publicly link both Mr. Biden and Mr. Bloomberg to the Chinese Communist Party's reckless plot to influence the U.S. presidential election, even though it is no secret that the CCP favors Mr. Biden and Mr. Bloomberg over President Trump, who has brought the CCP's economy to its knees through the trade war. Mr. Gu said many times in the past that he would not discuss American politics, but he has been vocal about the CCP's campaign to sway elections and control foreign governments through their proxies. For the CCP, it is a much smaller price to pay to control the decision-makers in foreign governments in order to achieve its global hegemony. Groom Foreign Proxies Through Corruptions Mr. Guo said that Meng Jianzhu, who was the head of Central Political and Legal Affairs Commission of the Communist Party of China until Mr. Guo named him one of the top kleptocrats, boasted that most of the Southern Asian countries are fully under the CCP's control including Myanmar and Cambodia. The One Belt One Road initiative gives the CCP more opportunities to corrupt foreign governments through infrastructure projects. Qasem Soleimani, who was considered the second most powerful person in Iran, was one of the CCP's longtime proxies in the Middle East until he met his fate. The CCP even set up Bank of Kunlun to fund Soleimani's anti-American terrorist activities around the world. Iran's dictatorship fell into disarray as soon as Soleimani was taken out in a U.S. drone attack. Groom CCP's offsprings to take power In order to put power into the hands of the CCP loyalists, candidates have been planted in unfathomable ways. When Mr. Guo famously said that the Chinese kleptocrats have been ruling through their reproductive organs, people's imagination was limited to power grabbing within China until Mr. Guo named Philip Rossler, the former vice chancellor of Germany from 2011 to 2013, an illegitimate grandson of Yao Yilin. Yao, the former vice premier of China, was one of the CCP hardliners who voted for the massacre of Tiananmen Square in 1989. He is Wang Qishan's father-in-law. Mr. Rossler was born in Vietnam before he was sent to Germany as an orphan. From late 2017 until early 2019, he served as chief executive officer of New York-based Hainan Sihang Charity Foundation Inc., the largest shareholder of HNA Group. He never publicly responded to Mr. Guo's accusations but HNA filed a lawsuit against Mr. Guo for linking its ownership to the Chinese Vice President Wang Qishan. The $300 million defamation lawsuit was later dropped by HNA, even though its business took a downturn after Mr. Guo's various accusations of HNA's murky business. Wang Qishan claimed to have double guns to defeat President Trump in election. The CCP never hides its intention or capability to summon all anti-Trump forces by any means necessary. According to Mr. Guo, the Chinese Vice President Wang Qishan recently told a former U.S. government official who served in the Obama administration that the CCP was not afraid of signing the Phase 1 trade deal after years of negotiations. Wang said that the deal was merely some pieces of paper and he was confident about the CCP's chance of winning because both Mr. Biden and Mr. Bloomberg are running against President Trump. Wang said that the CCP can sign 500 billion trade deal, which means it can also spend 500 billion to help them win the election. This American visitor was surprised at Wang's bold confession of meddling in the U.S. election. But this came as no surprise for people who have been listening to Mr. Guo's frequent live stream broadcasts in the past three years. The U.S. presidential election is an ultimate showdown between the CCP and President Trump. The CCP has been successfully taking advantage of the U.S. four-year elections to wait out their adversaries and avoid punishments. In the past, Mr. Guo accused the CCP of enabling the publication of an anti-Trump book when both the Chinese and American versions went on sale on the same day in both countries. He also accused the CCP of pushing for the impeachment of President Trump in order to get rid of him before the 2020 election. Mr. Guo is currently seeking political asylum in the United States, and he claimed that he is prepared to die at any moment because he has made many enemies during his 30-year endeavor to eliminate the Chinese Communist Party. Unlike President Trump's frequent criticisms of the CCP's unfair trade practices, 
Joe Biden and Michael Bloomberg have almost never said anything negative about the CCP publicly. Both of them have very friendly relations with the CCP. Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, got $1.5 billion investment from China for his private equity fund during their visit to China in 2013. Mr. Bloomberg has close business ties with the CCP, and his comments about the Chinese government during a PBS interview raised eyebrows. Thanks for watching.